Hello everyone, it's Kay here and I'm here to share some more from the Georgia Blues and it's a project totally inspired by BB's Crafts. Now I will leave a link to this young lady under the uh, video, it's the only the right thing to do. She does a very comprehensive tutorial and it really is a lovely creation to put together how much you dress it up of course is entirely up to you you can even leave it plain but it's a great little gift for sending out to friends to um, add in racks and that kind of thing the completed size is four and a half by four and a half and the depth is almost three quarters of an inch so it's a nice nice tidy size to put together not too heavy on materials and it just really does depend on how you decorate it as to how fanciful or indeed plain you'd like it to be so without further ado there's a little one of my little dangle books which I've added to the side primarily because what I've used is the Georgia Blue card and or DSP and the um, craft card so it all comes together really really nicely so to have the craft card dangle book with a little bit of the DSP on the side is very much in keeping the pages are clear I've not added anything to them and it's held on the side here uh, with a little lobster claw and I made a tiny tiny little embellishment with lace and ribbon just to offset on the little booklet now I've also added lace and it is purely because of this gorgeous paper you can get away with really really going to town and utilizing lots and lots of stuff that you might have in your stash it's all held together with this belly band and I've just put a little round applique in the center added the little paper rose which I've kept absolutely clean without any glitter or anything or inks or anything on it because I think it offsets it beautifully and then you open up the inside and it's actually an envelope gift box when it's all said and done I've used some of the mirror board down through the spine and that primarily is just to even up the foiling on the paper the lace top and bottom just to finish off it's held together with velcro and you just open it up like so and inside I've made four little note cards clearly you could put into the pockets whatever you wanted and the the little note cards I think are four by four Oh, no they're not, I'm lying to you, they're three by three then, yes they are indeed. So that's the size of them, three by three, and whilst I've used some of the paper, I've decorated with just this little punch and the gold foiling again. The sentiment just says, surround yourself with happiness, and I've decorated envelopes because I've made a bit of a faux pas there and smudged the ink and I've also decorated the inside liner just a little bit to pretty it up a little bit and you know make it more of a gift if you like. The envelopes are held together with the velcro. I think with hindsight I probably would have been better to have put some paper on the actual envelope flaps but I didn't and I've added velcro to it so I'm not prepared to dislodge that and have a you know a bit of a mess going on inside but the pockets are quite significant they in themselves are four and a half 
by four inches so they and the depth there is a good um, just over a quarter of an inch which you could make deeper clearly based on this um, size you can make it bigger or larger depending on what it is that you want to do I just made the envelopes out of craft board using the envelope punch board which worked really really well and you know if you wanted to make it larger all, all you need by rule of thumb is to have a piece of card that will allow both of your envelopes to sit on it with a gap in between of at least half an inch a bit more would make it a bit more comfortable to be able to add a bit more into the pockets if you so desired but it really is a lovely lovely project to put together if there is anyone that would like me to do a tutorial on it then do by all means mention in the comments below failing that you can always go along to BB Crafts and check out her tutorial which is very very good indeed and have a go at making it. It really is a, a lovely lovely project to work on and comes together very quickly. The second thing I wanted to share with you today are some decorated envelopes very much inspired by Artie Mays um, who is here on YouTube and has a Etsy store and designs digital papers but she did a tutorial on these wonderful wonderful napkin decorated envelopes and all I did basically is coffee stain the envelopes then I got out my um, Lindy stamp sprays and some just check and see the name of it cosmic glimmer and um, put the colours throughout the envelope so you've got that wonderful wonderful sheen then selected some elements from the uh, napkins took off from them what I wanted and then applied them with a loose concoction of PVA glue which allows you to apply the um, napkins to the envelopes and it just finishes it all off. I also did some stamping from one of my stamps that I use quite a lot and all in all they have come together absolutely beautifully and I am absolutely delighted with them. I did, and don't laugh, you'll find me quirky I'm sure, actually put these under my steam press without steam because I wanted them A to be flatter and I also wanted to smooth out the napkin because as they dried it did get very very wrinkly. I've not removed all the creasing, it's still got that lovely lovely aged look to it but I think it did add to the overall look of the envelopes which I, I really I'm thrilled to bits with. I've just coffee dyed some more. I mean it's all different sizes, it is what it is. You just use whatever you've got in your stash and then you know if you've got square envelopes, long envelopes, most of us have a, a selection of different envelopes. You just go ahead and stain them up and stamp them to suit yourself but I will leave again a link to the tutorial that I followed. It is a very long and extended um, tutorial because Andrea does her work in real time and films it as she goes along so you get to see the reasons why and it really is very very informative so you know I'll just share this last one with you and that's me for the day I just thought it was time to bring them on and let you see just how beautiful 
they look they really are gorgeous and to anybody that uh, is wondering I got my um, napkins on eBay and if, if anyone should want the um, link which I'm sure I'll be able to get hold of for you just again leave a message in the comments box underneath the video and I will endeavour to sort that out for you so whilst I'm here I would also like to thank everyone that has responded to my giveaway video I am overwhelmed by the support I've received I know I'm not going to make the 3000 mark because my maths were terribly out um, not unusual for me I have awful issues with numbers but in any event you know it has been wonderful to see how readily the crafting community steps up and, and tries to help once assistance or help or a request is made of them so thank you very much everybody thank you to my lovely subscribers I wouldn't be here without you and that's as truthful as it gets so take care everyone happy crafting and I hope the coming week brings you not too many headaches and a little bit of crafty time take care everyone bye bye for now